Hey guys, hope everyone out there is doing well. This is about our second or third day here in the province, and so far we are enjoying it. It's been really good to see my wife's family again, and I know especially my wife and Nana and Tata are enjoying seeing each other again because, as I mentioned before, it has been it's been three years since we've been here, so we've uh, we've enjoyed it. It's been an adjustment for both of us in some ways because my wife has kind of adapted to, for example, the temperature in the states where we always have air conditioning, and so when we arrived here, especially here where we're not always in air conditioning. She's been kind of going, it's so in it. It's a, that's the Tagalog word for, for hot. Because she's, she's just gotten used to life in the States. And it's kind of funny because here, like here at this, at this house, Nana and Tate's house, we usually go to bed like at 9 o'clock most of the time. Because my wife's sister's here. She studies. She has to get up early. And, and that's just kind of life in the province. You, you typically go to bed early and get up early. Uh, part of that is uh, something that uh, I noticed especially this morning is even if you would like to sleep a little longer then you've got you've got vehicles and people moving around starting about 5 5:30 and of course you've got several roosters who start crowing anywhere between <laughs> 4 and 5 so it's an adjustment but uh, we're we're having fun we're enjoying it uh, I thought something that I would talk about for uh, this video is Province life versus city life, and uh, I can't remember how much I've discussed this on other videos, but this may be a good time to talk about it since my wife and I are in the province right now, and I think that's something that you may be wondering if if you're thinking about moving to the Philippines, it's it's where do you want to live? Do you, do you want to live in a, a larger city like, let's say, Angeles City, that's where we just were? or Cebu City or Davao? Do you want to live in a smaller town or do you want to live out in the province? And one of the best ways I think I can answer that or one of the something I think I can share that will be helpful uh, pardon the noise outside we've got this is one of the main streets going through this province and so we've got vehicles going up and down but I think you'll I think what you'll find is the difference and you'll find this in other parts of the world I think too the the difference between a developing country and a country like the United States is there's there can be a, a huge difference in what you have when you're in the city versus when you're out in the province and uh, that's true for the states but it's especially true here in the Philippines. So, for example, where we are right now, the different options for internet are, are kind of limited, and that's changing. But it's still it's still a factor. Or medical facilities. If we wanted to get really good medical care for surgery, something like that, there would be some distance that we would need to travel in order to do that. So that's kind of, I guess you could say, the maybe the, the downside of living in the province is just some of the amenities that you may be used to, are there, they may not be here. It kind of depends on which province you're living in, and it depends on how far away you get from a major city. Now, with I, I would say the benefit of, a province, of living in the province, it's obviously quieter, it's a slower pace of life. And it's, you know, it's relaxed for the most part. And one thing I would say is if you go to the Philippines, especially if you're married to a Filipina or have a, or a Filipina girlfriend, uh, probably she's got some family out in the province somewhere. And I would say it would be a really good idea to try to go visit where they're from. Uh, because one thing that I can say about the province is... It's, it's where you get a really good feel for the cultural roots of the Philippines. There are a few families, of course, that have grown up for generations in the cities, I guess, but the, the roots of the Filipino culture, you get a really good feel for it when, when you go out to the province, when you're out around the rice fields and everything. So maybe, maybe that gives you some, some ideas about that. 
Now, one thing I will add too, that it, it, it's funny when you when you visit the province as an American, you're probably going to be the only white person for kilometers or miles because I can tell that whenever I walk around here. Now, I think I can tell that some of the people that live nearby they've kind of gotten used to seeing me so far because I've I've been to the sorry sorry store nearby a couple of times. But when people drive by here, if I'm sitting out on the front porch, we are, we always joke that I'm going to cause an accident because they'll do a double take if they drive and see this really white guy sitting <laughs> sitting on the front porch. So uh, anyway, those are just a few thoughts on the province life versus city life. It's not intended to be a, a complete breakdown or whatever, but just just some of my thoughts. So um, anyway, we're we're having fun here, and I will. Uh, do some more videos. I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to upload them, but I'm going to keep doing videos here and there to give you a little bit of a feel for what our vacation's been like.